All right, so this is gonna be our last video that's purely on z-scores, um, but we are gonna see z-scores again and again. It kind of comes up quite often. So anyway, formula, we have our tables and we have our little bell curve. Let's look at the questions we have this time around. Um, so in previous examples, we were given a value, such as a height, and we we're asked to calculate a percentage from it, um, like the percentage of people that are below 180 centimeters, for example. But they can ask the other way around as well. So they can give you a percentage and ask you to find a height. So the example I have here, uh, question one is, the top 5% of males in Ireland are classed as XLs. That's the tallest 5%, I probably should have been more specific. Um, what size do you have to be to be XL? So how tall? And then if you picked uh, 1,000 men randomly, how many of them would be XL, right? So let's get started. So top 5% of males, so I'm just gonna draw the bell curve, um, and I'll go in yellow. We're gonna have the top 5% are gonna be, say, somewhere above here, okay? So we know that that is 5%, but we don't know what this value is. So I'm gonna call it, I guess, X. Or actually, I think Z is the better value to have it. So we're gonna call this value Z, and we wanna find what Z score gives you kind of 5% or, or above you. So the way to do that is we go to the tables, and this time, we're gonna to have to look through the tables bit by bit, to find which value has exactly 5% above it. So if it has 5% above it, that means that this red bit here is going to be 95%. So we're looking for the value that gives 95%. So we're gonna look through all of these rows until we find 95, all right? So get rid of those. Um, and that's gonna be somewhere between these two values here, 0 0.9495 and 9505. So I'm gonna say 1.645, all right? So you see that there, it's 1.6, and it's between 1.64 and 1.65. So we're gonna get the average of those two, and it's gonna be 1.645. That's the Z score that will give us, the, above that is gonna be the top 5% of people, all right? So I will um, just get rid of those and go back down. So we're looking for Z is equal to 1.645, but what height is that? Okay, and if we look look to our formula, um, X is kind of the height that we're looking for. So X is what we're looking for. So if we stick that into a formula, so I'll go or an equation, Z is equal to 1.645 is equal to X minus um, mu divided by sigma, um, and we know what mu and sigma are, the mean height and the standard deviation up here given in the question. So we can continue our equation, so it's gonna be, I'll go in purple over here, 1.645 gonna be equal to x minus 176.3 divided by 7.1. So that means that 1.6, no, 1.6, Four five multiplied by seven point one plus no, one step at a time is going to be equal to x minus one hundred seventy six point three. So I multiplied the seven point one and multiplied it up. So then the last line then is just going to be that x is going to be equal to one point six four five multiplied by seven point one plus one hundred seventy six point three. So for that, I just moved this 176.3 over to the other side of the equation and changed it to a plus. Um, so our answer for the height is X is going to be 187.98 centimeters. So if you're 187.98 centimeters, if you're above that, then you're gonna be in the top 5% and you're gonna be classed as XL or extra large, all right? Uh, and so part two is the only question, only bit we have left. So I guess I just hopefully that makes sense. That's the method that if they give you a percentage, you have to work back and try to find uh, the value, okay? And then if you picked 100, 1,000 men randomly, how many of them would be XL? Um, I can just squeeze this, I guess I'll move over. Um, so XL means the top 5%. So if we picked 1,000 men, only 5% of them would be um, XL and so 5% in decimal is 0 0.05 so if we want to put that into decimal it's just going to be 50 men okay 50 
men is our answer for part two. So hopefully those two things, uh, those two questions make sense. Those are pretty much between this and the last two videos. Those are most of the questions you're going to see on Z scores. Those are the most common questions. Uh, they're pretty much all the questions actually. So hopefully they all made sense. Uh, if they didn't, ask questions in the comments and we'll answer them. Um, but that's it for direct Z scores for now. We're going to look at the central limit theorem next. So if you liked the video, like and subscribe, share it with your friends, etc., etc. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.